I was burgled the other night and someone has taken all my notebooks and the pages are blooded with acid. You're here because I'm paying a million bucks for my stuff back and for that kind of money I want results quick. I wonder if anyone knows if these books have gone missing yet. Yes, I will find you. I will. I will get my acid back. I bet it was that stupid crackhead that stole his stuff, then tried to kill me on the bus. Then I killed him and took his back. I just can't get my eye off the government. Finally, that's all I wanted to see. Fuck L. Fuck it all. Tonight, I'm gonna take the death note acid. And if that means that I die of a heart attack, <laughs> well, so be it. Wait. It's like the ground is swallowing me up. <coughs> I really don't feel myself right now. I just feel a connection and then I touch this book. Like I'm changing into something else. I felt like a demon. A fly. I want more. More. More of the Death Note acid. L's coke dealer. He was on the bus. If he figures out that that crackhead was the one that stole the books, and he saw that I killed the crackhead, he's gonna tell L, and they're gonna figure it all out, and they're gonna come, and they're gonna fucking kill me. Shit. My only choice. I'm gonna have to kill him. You could be lying about to be murdered by L in the human realm. <laughs> yeah, yes, well, I'd rather be stuck here with you idiots than stuck as him in the human realm. I mean, I used to be human. I was famous, I was a rapper. Then I done too much death note acid and soon I became a demon and got stuck here in the acid realm. Yeah, that's a demon. I don't want to be an acid demon. Huh? Oh, I was asleep. What a weird dream that was. Maybe I should lay off this death note acid, just for today. I mean, dreams of me turning into a demon, being stuck in a demon realm, L coming for me and killing me? <laughs> None of these things are going to happen. It's all just my mind running wild on me. <sighs> but I guess I should lay off this death note acid, at least for today. I think I'll go shopping for a new outfit. I need a new look, something different. I want to revamp my image. Hmm, yes, definitely. Wait, what is this? I have a new email. I'm an unknown email address. Ah, it's from the thief. Hmm, I have your books, but they won't last long considering how quick I'm going through the pages of acid. Better catch me quick if you can. Hmm, I better call Murphy Law. Detective Murphy Law. Ah, yes. Good afternoon, Detective. I was wondering where your call has got to, considering I haven't had one. I mean, what is the update so far with your case? Have you found the thief that's taken my books? Also, we did uh, catch two guys. Yeah. Well, we arrested two men today, age 25, who had heard of the acid books. But Detective Boner shot them in the face when they insulted his mother, and he really loves his mom. So we're back to nothing again. Well, that is great police work. I myself have just been shopping for a new outfit, a new look, new image. And just as I buy it, I get an email from an anonymous email address with some pictures in a letter, mocking me saying how they have my books and that I'll never get them. I'm not happy. That's enough messing with Al. <laughs> Should piss him off a bit. Now to find that coke dealer's number, the one who got me Al's acid in the first place, the one on the bus who saw me kill Bobby. I'll meet him and get more acid and find out what he knows. I mean, am I gonna run away to the other side of the world just cause of this shit? No. Hell no. I'm gonna kill him. It's the best way. Oh, hi. Zach, it's uh, Light. I met you last time. You get that acid? I want some more. Sure, no problem. I got one sheet left. Meet me near the bus station and we can uh, go on the bus like last time and I'll sort you out. This normal acid doesn't really do much to me anymore. I should've stuck with Death Note acid. Never mind. If only I could find out where these acid books are, I'd get the million myself off L. I'm sure it's got something to do with Bobby the Rat. Wait. He killed Bobby the Rat. Like killed Bobby the Rat last time when we was on the bus, when he switched out and went mad because he's so high on acid all the time. Huh. 
It's gotta be him. I better get on that bus before it goes. Hey, Light, how you doing? Seen Bobby the Rat lately? <laughs> hey, listen. Pass me the money under the seat, and I'll slide you the sheet of the acid, alright? I got a better idea. Why don't you throw it on the floor, and then I'll pick it up, and then I'll pass you the money. Alright, sure, no problem. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> now give me the money, you little fuck! I know you took Al's acid books, and I'm gonna tell him! Well, I guess this is my stop then. See ya! <laughs> hey, that little fucker, he didn't pay me, and it, it must have been him that took the books. I, I gotta get him. I gotta get him. Oh, fuck. What an idiot. I was waiting behind the front of the bus. You'll never tell L. Murphy, I have some news from my coke dealer, Zach. He thinks he knows who took my death notes, and he is on his way over now. 5 p.m., Zach will be here for his next customer any minute. Right, here he is right now. As always, so punctual, so predictable. Zach, don't turn around. I got a gun. It's like I want to tell you something. I do have L's acid books. I did take them from Bobby the Rat, and you were right to suspect me. You were right about it all. But wait to L's house to tell him all about me after you meet your next customer, Simon. That's right, Simon at the coffee shop, right? Well, I have some entertainment. See, I met Simon this morning, gave me two tabs of death note acid about an hour and a half ago. Now, let's see. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> see, most people can only last about a maximum of two hours. I've survived for more than six hours, and I'm still here, still going strong. See, my mind is stronger than else, or at least as strong. Now, as for the entertainment, it's not over. Not by a long shot. Well, at least not for you. See, I know you buy your coffee from Simon at that coffee shop every single morning, just like you did today, about an hour ago. But the coffee you got today is different. See, I paid Simon 200 bucks in advance when I met him to put two tabs of Death Note acid in your coffee and to give it to you. But hey, there's no need to worry, because I would say you could last the whole two hours. So. As you drunk the coffee about an hour ago, that means you got anything from one minute to one hour before you die. <laughs> Listen, it's not too bad when it's only a 10 minute journey to get to L's house, so I suggest you move quick and take the next train. See, L keeps a vial, an antidote, that clears out all the death note acid from your body when it gets too strong. So all you gotta do is get to L's house, take the antidote, and then tell him all about how I killed Bobby and took the Death Note acid and have done most of it. <laughs> oh, by the way, I understand that L likes rap lyrics. Why don't you give him these from me? I wrote them myself last night about the whole situation. I'm sure he'll love it. I'm sure. How the fuck did I get myself wrapped up in this shit? I don't even know what's going on. Boy, I, I can feel it already. I, I ain't never done acid before and everything looks a, a bit weird. I gotta, I gotta move quick. I just don't feel myself, but I know I can make it. I know it. I... Uh, 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 fuck. No. <laughs> there is no antidote, you fool. I was just messing with you. Is that Detective Murphy Law? Yeah, it's me. It's the prison. I'm getting pissed off if L keep hacking my goddamn computer. This is government issue. It keeps sending me stupid viruses to release gay porn all over my computer. Okay, Mr. Prison, I'll talk to him. Oh, it's not every day that I get a call from the president, even though we did go to college together. But I just got one today, and it was about you. He says that you're sending him gay porn. Some kind of virus on his computer? You cannot hack into government computers, especially not the president's own personal PC. And do that. Hey Johnson, have you been listening to those wide taps I gave you? Yeah, I'm just listening to them now, and I think I could be onto something. Hey, you think I'm stupid, Johnson? I can hear the fucking music from here! As you know, I'm Detective Murphy Law, and I thank you for making this meeting. 
I was the one who got us this deal for the million bucks. And so I've called you here today to downsize. That's right. I think this money's being split too many ways. I gotta cut the fat. Are you fucking kidding me? You know how many kids I got? How much my wife spends? How much drink, pills, and coke I do? Do you have any idea how much prostitutes cost me these days? I guess I should have stayed at home. It was much more pleasant. Fuck off back there, Al. I mean, what's with this new costume anyway? You call this a new look? A new outfit? He does have a point there, Al. I mean, you look fucking stupid. Look at it. I mean, where the fuck did you buy that thing from anyway? And what kind of dress sense is this? You just look like a retard. Now I'm getting pissed off. Ah, oh, well, if you want that million, I suggest you shut your pie hole. I can't fucking stand this L guy. He's really fucking pissing me off. I think we should just kill him. Why don't we just fucking kill him and take his fucking money? I mean, what's all this pissing around for? I don't get it. It's fucking frustrating me. I mean, I'm really getting pissed off. Yeah, I mean, why don't we just kill him and take his drugs and then sell him? I mean, we can make a million by selling him on the street. You fucking retarded. Do you know how long that will take? We're not killing him. This is my gig and I want this million. The only way that we're gonna get it is my way. And that's him putting the money in our accounts, you idiots. Why can't we just kill him? I don't get it. That's because you don't get anything. See, he doesn't keep money around him. Even the drugs, I mean, when you're gonna sell them on the street, it will take years. His money is moved digitally. That means he has offshore bank accounts. There is no money to steal from him when he's dead. We need him to transfer it into our accounts, so we have to work for you. Yeah. Oh, fuck you guys! I ain't working for this guy no more! I've had it up to here with you fucking assholes, so fuck off! See you later! Oh man, he was my best friend. I mean, I don't even like the rest of you guys. This sucks. I can't believe he's gone. <sighs> Am I different? Am I different? Does that make me insane? Does that make me mad and crazy? Why? Because my beliefs? Or because I have beliefs at all? Am I mad because I stand out from the crowd? For choosing the puppet on the left or the puppet on the right? 